Hello and welcome back here. In this video, what we're going to be doing is caulking the tub here where the quartz meets the tub here. And as you can see, there is a gap here and we're going to seal that. So you definitely want to use the right kind of caulk. Uh, this is a caulk that you don't want to use here, okay? Because when, when like, the water will hit this, it'll cause it to fail. So you definitely want to use a, a kitchen's and, and a bathroom's caulk that is able to uh, deal with the water or hold up to, to the water, okay? And the caulk that I'm going to use right here is the Fennis Seal. And again, this is a, a kitchen's and, and, a, and a bathroom caulk, and it's a vinyl adhesive caulk. So this is going to work great for a job like this. And the caulk, the uh, caulk is white, it's not clear, okay? Because the uh, tub is white and the quartz is white there. Um, so we don't want to use that here. I have a rag here that I'm going to use and I have a spray bottle. And in the spray bottle, I have denatured alcohol, okay? So let's get started here. Okay, I'm just gonna squeeze this a little bit and the whole trick behind this is to not apply too much pre pressure. So you just want to leave the proper amount of caulk so that you so that the caulk will get into the gap and you don't want to create a mess. If you put too much caulk down, then it's gonna smear above and below it and then you have to wipe that away. So always just apply a little bit of pressure and eyeball the crack first so that you know where the larger gaps are so that you know to uh, squeeze it with more of the pressure. You always want to use a, a good caulk. Uh, don't use a cheap one because they don't work uh, as efficient. So we'll start down here. I'll apply a little bit of pressure and just slowly move down the surface. And again, I'm just using a little bit of a pressure as to not apply too much of the caulk. Okay, so we'll stop it there. Okay, so that now what I'll do is I'll take it out and hit it against the ground and that's going to stop the caulk from continuing to, to uh, spill out here. Okay, so I'll put this down here. I'll grab my spray bottle and again, this is the uh, denatured alcohol here. And I'll just lightly spray down the surface here. And this is going to ensure that when I wipe it with my finger here, that the caulk is unable to stick to above or below the uh, caulking area. That is what comes off there. So I didn't apply that much caulk, okay? So I'm gonna use my rag now and just slowly go down the surface there, okay? And that is what comes off on the rag. And lastly, I'll go back to my finger here again and just slowly go down the surface there. And that is what comes off there, okay? So by applying the right amount of pressure, we didn't create a huge mess and we effectively got all the caulk in the gap and we didn't get the caulk above it onto the side of the uh, tub or onto the quartz here, okay? Okay, so once again, this is the type of caulk that I used and it's white. So thank you very much for watching this, this, uh, vi this video and I'll see you on the next one.